Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to share this little project here that I made um, with you guys in a moment. Uh, before I do, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, as many of you know, or some of you know anyway, um, my husband was supposed to have surgery um, yesterday. Um, Apparently his blood work came back and they found some stuff in his blood and to make a long story short, we have to go get some more tests done, which we did yesterday. I'm still waiting for them to come back to me with the results from that. But needless to say, his surgery was canceled for now. Um, I'm only saying this because I seem to be a little distracted these days. Um, I can't really seem to focus too well on too many things. Um, I'm trying to be very optimistic and just, you know, you know, saying my little prayers silently um, and still trying to keep up my spirits because I know that um, although he's not saying anything, he's extremely nervous and upset. And now he's even thinking that he doesn't want to have the surgery and... I don't want to start arguing and fighting with him about it, but uh, he's getting silly on me and saying stuff like it's a sign or an omen. Maybe he shouldn't have the test. And uh, I don't want to disagree with him because, you know, these things do happen. But uh, at the same token, I just want him to let the doctors do what they have to do. And I think him being, you know, how men are, they're kind of, big babies on the inside I think he's just acting out of fear and um, yeah so I'm just a little distracted you know just trying to pay more special attention to hubby and um, helping him through this and uh, dealing with my own stuff and so if I do not answer any questions right away just give me a moment, guys. I promise I will get back to everyone's questions and answers, and I will do those tutorials I promised. I've just been very distracted. I, um, for the last couple of days, I'm only working on stuff that I have made a commitment to. Um, anything that's of my own personal or things that I, I want to do that I can put off, I really haven't been doing it that much in a tutorial. Right now, it's something I want to do. It's not something I have to do. Um, so, I'm, and I promise I am going to get to it. I just, I'm not in the right frame of mind for it, to be quite honest. Um, but I will. In the meantime, I am still, you know, still finding the joy in everything that we do um, on an everyday basis. And uh, you may have seen one of my past videos where I have completed a pocket letter page or I'm not sure if that's what you call it, or pocket letter, or letter pocket, or <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure the right terminology, guys, but I call it pocket letter pages. Um, and I have joined a swap over at, um, I keep forgetting the name of the site. Ah, what is the name of that site? It is um, blah, 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 blah creating the crafty life a ccl i know it as ccl and oh my god oh my goodness you know sometimes you use abbreviations and you forget the proper name but anyway these are pocket letter pages this is another one i'm working on um in case you guys haven't seen them and i have finished one i did a few videos um a few videos i'm sorry guys i really can't speak oh my goodness um a few videos back i actually shared one of my completed ones and I've contacted my partner over at CCL and she had said that she needed a little time you know I work a little faster than her which she doesn't know I really was not done because I still had to work on a card for her that I wanted to make <laughs> so um, just because I finished doesn't mean it was getting in the mail anytime soon um, but I am going to put in the mail because I have to put some other stuff in the mail so anyways I wanted to make her a card and in talking with her and corresponding back and forth with her, she made it known to me that she not only lives in Alaska, but that she is from, well, let's just say she's about 
maybe three hours from where I live right now. And so she is from the East Coast and she is um, a neighbor, a fellow neighbor of mine. Uh, she lives in the state right next to where I am. And I kind of felt bad for her because uh, in talking back and forth, her and I, she made mention that one of the things that she misses the most living in Alaska is pretty bright colors, sunshine, and she loves um, beach colors and, you know, beach stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if she has something on her desk, because she has a new job out there, that was... Um, on those dark days in Alaska, and I'm a big Alaska fan, guys. I watch all the Alaskan reality shows. I know it's sick. Uh, my husband tells me all the time, you have problems. Had I not been a sick person and had I not had this illness, I would be living in Alaska in the bush, I think. Um, but only if I can get my craft, crafty supplies. <laughs> so anyways, um, I kind of felt bad for her because I figured that wherever she's at um, on those dark days, she can take a look at this and it, it might cheer her up and remind her of the sunny days and um, summer and such. And I'm also involved in a secret card swap and I actually, I wanted to make a special card, but I wanted to do something different and so I've never done an easel card with a little draw. Um, so this is actually the second one. The first one I can't show you yet because that is a secret for my partner and I'm not sure if she's going to be watching the video or if she even watches the video. So um, as to not give away any more and I can't show it until the reveal anyway. I can't show you the first one I made. But the other one um, that I made for Diamond Dyes is actually the first easel card. This is actually my second one. And I am loving, loving, loving these easel cards with you all. Now the card is going to be 4x4. Four four. Um, so it's, it doesn't have a whole lot of workspace, which is why I have my little girl hanging a little bit off the page, which is fine because I'm thinking if she's going to put it on her um, desk or somewhere in the house where it can just um, kind of remind her of sweet sunny days, um, it's okay that it hangs out. Plus, I'm putting this in a package because I have her pocket letter that I have to send out. Plus, I'm sending her some extra goodies because I don't know how hard it is to find stuff in Alaska, but I imagine it's not too easy. Um, the stamp set that I used for this is by Penny Black and it's called Beach Day. Um, and I really love this stamp set. It's one of my stamp sets that unfortunately I have not used a lot. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm not even sure if I used uh, that image. I know I used the fishes and these accessories on a whole bunch of other projects, especially these crabs. This crab right here I have used on many projects last year. But the actual little girl, I'm not sure if I have. Um, but it has so many wonderful um, additions to this stamp set. It has the little boat, the pail with the suntan lotion, the little seahorse, all kinds of fish, the little sun. How can we forget the sun? Seashells, silver dollar starfish, um, plants, you name it. This has it. It even has the little bubbles. I love this stamp set. I really do. And guys, you want to know something I discovered about myself? Um, and it's so funny because I was I was just saying that while working on this card. The more I worked on the card, the more I realized it's not just any particular one stamp. Of course, we go through our phases and our trends and our craze where we're in love with this stamp set. And then we're in love with this stamp set. But I just love stamps. I really do. I really, I was sitting here at my desk and I'm thinking while I was crafting, boy, I really do. I didn't realize how much I really love stamping, how much I love whether or not I color them in, it's irrelevant. I just love stamping images and putting it together and making something pretty out of it and fussy cutting. I really, really enjoy that. Um, I really enjoy stamping. Like, I am a stampaholic. <laughs> I've become a stampaholic. Um, yeah, so 
this was the stamps that I used. I used some papers that were in my um, very old papers. Just wanted to use them up in my stash. Um, also, let me... I only used one stamp set from this long one set, but not... Oh, actually, I used two. I'm sorry. From this long one stamp set, I used my little waves right here and the seagulls. The big one and where is the little one? The little one right there. So you'll see that in the background here, but uh, yeah, I forgot about that. So I started out, and I'll put the tutorial for... Um, where I gained my inspiration for making this in the description box below. Um, I started out with the base. I followed all the instructions. Now with this one, I didn't get as um, fancy with the other one as I did with the other one because the inside, I wanted to leave, since I am doing the video now, I wanted to leave a little something that she hasn't seen so I do plan to do a little something on the inside but for the most part this is how it's going to look um, I have covered it with paper and I have distressed everything with barn door oh another thing that my friends have mentioned was that she doesn't see a lot of bright colors especially red she misses the color red so for my project I use a lot of red um, keeping with the beach colors um, baby blue and um, being nice and pretty I wanted to do the whitewash look and use oranges pinks and reds real pretty bright colors that will go with the blue and that's what I've done and here's the little handle for the drawer like I said just following the instructions um, of course then I made the um, part that covers and I did it all out of the same paper and then for the card I just put her on pop uh, foam dots and I put the ball on foam dots I did fussy cut her I colored her in with some Copics and some Pro markers um, the back of the water and the sand on the ground I colored in with my distress markers and these little images all got colored in with either Copics and distress inks or both and the sandcastle was both the bolly was my Copics and um, pro markers this I stamped out with my distress inks um, in, in the um, worn lipstick and this fun in the sun sentiment comes with the stamp set and this one I colored in also with my pro markers and my Copics I put some bling all around his little um, rays and then some stickles another thing I wanted to do is give her a lot of bling um, so I have stickles and bling on her glasses I have a little flower bling I don't know if you can see that there and I have some stickles on her flower and then I have more bling on her little butterfly and on the floaty on the floaty on his eyes I put a little bling there and I put little flower blings all over her sandals and the ground on the floor and I just tried to add as much sparkle and trying to make it as happy and pretty and cheery as possible because five months of total darkness or three months even 30 days oh my gosh that's like a lot um so this will i think this will be something cute that she can look at and then i did the little waves with the uh, salty ocean distress inks and then i just colored those in and that's on that pattern paper and then the next underneath now I am not gonna stamp anything on here nor am I gonna write in it for the very simple reason is that that way if she wants to display it um, she can I am gonna write a note and put it with a little post-it note but here we have some more stamping that I did I'm telling you I was so happy to stamp today I just went stamping crazy <laughs> I started stamping little starfish all over and forgive my um, scissor I'm Oh, here's my pointer. I'm so silly. 
Um, here are the little starfish and some seashells and the little plants. And of course, I put some little, and guys, these flowers are so tiny. I have to pick them up with, um, with tweezers. But these are little bling flowers and little tiny little blings on the center of the starfish. And then I have some paper here. And this is one of the borders from the stamp set that I colored in. And I did put it on pop dots. And that will act as the little stopper as well as the bling for the easel card. Down here again, more stamping and more bling. Now I'm going to go finish up the inside as a surprise for my recipient. Um, I always try to do one thing off camera um, in case they do watch my video. I'm not sure that she does. I'm not, I know she told me she does not have a YouTube channel. I think she says she doesn't or she doesn't know how. I'm not even sure. Um, I don't remember that part. Um, so I'm going to go fill this up. Why do you keep falling? Bad girl. Oh, there she goes. Um, so I am going to go fill this up with goodies for her. Um, and I am going to get ready to put this in an envelope and write a little note. I still have to write my letter in the pocket letter part. So guys, this is my second easel draw card. I am so in love with it. I'm in love with these easel draw cards. What a great way to give someone a little piece of art. Um, and a nice way to put some goodies in there for them. Love it. So I hope this makes her happy and cheery and sunny. I hope you guys are having a great, happy, sunny day, or at least a happy, crafty day. <laughs> um, and if any further details um, happen to come up, in regards to myself or hubby this week, I will certainly let you guys know. Like I said, I'm feeling a little, um, not going to say weird out or wigged out, but I'm just a little distracted and uh, I'm going to try to keep myself busy so that, you know, I think I'm, I'm the type of person that when I'm under a lot of stress. I try to keep I try to keep busy, but it may not be a functional busy. <laughs> As you can tell by this video, it might be one of those scattered brain busies, but um busy nonetheless. So let's see what I can get done. Um like I said, right for right now, I'm just going to um continue on with my obligations and then the fun stuff will just have to wait. Um, so I just want to thank you all for all your well wishes and your prayers that you have sent to me and my husband. I appreciate all my friends out there. Thank you so very much. You're all a bunch of sweeties. You're a bunch of sweetie pies. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. Have a very blessed day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.